Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a special edition of the Tidwell Taste Tour. What I wanted to do today was introduce a new set of videos I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to call it the Tidwell Tea Tour. Basically, it's going to be all about teas, mostly teas, some coffees as well, different beverages such as that. Um, I just wanted to give a little bit of information about tea and make this my introduction video for the new line of videos. As you can see, we've got some green back here, which is a very nice introduction to tea. Tea comes from the Camellia sinensis plant. I hope I pronounced that right. If I have not, I will write it on the screen here. Um, and basically, tea is the second most consumed beverage in the world behind only water. The history of tea um, dates back, basically the plant is native to an area in Southeast Asia, which is basically in the, in the northwest corner of India, where it sort of meets Nepal, uh, the Burma border, which is also known as Myanmar, and then uh, southwestern China, that's where the tea plant comes from. Tea is known to have been drank as early as the 10th century BC, but uh, more definitely in the 3rd century BC during the Qin Dynasty in China, it was a very popular beverage and started going over to uh, Japan and Ch uh, Korea from there. Uh, tea came to Europe in the early 17th century, um, to Amsterdam actually was the first city it came to, and uh, from there tea kind of took off by the end of the 18th century. Black tea was by far the most popular beverage in England and in Ireland. Um, the types of tea, there's only four different types of actual tea from the Camellia sinensis plant. Black tea, green tea, oolong tea, and white tea. Now, there are different variations of those, but those are the four basic ones. Black tea is fully fermented, fully oxidized, and has a very rich, robust flavor. Oolong tea has a less uh, robust flavor as it is semi-oxidized, and so it's kind of in the middle of green and black tea. Green tea is very lightly processed, has a very typically floral, grassy flavor, um, and is known to have the most health benefits. And white tea is not processed at all, it's just dried. Then there are other types of herbal teas, which is anything like peppermint or chamomile or anything like that. Then there's also uh, yerba mate, which is a South American bush that has a lot of caffeine in it and is a very is known for coffee drinkers to like it. And there's also rooibos tea, also known as red tea, which comes from the red bush in uh, South Africa. Now, um, basically, tea is known for its health benefits. They vary wildly, and the, you can look all this stuff up for yourself. The way I look at tea is it's just an enjoyable beverage, even though some studies have shown anti-cancer, anti-carcinogen properties, and things like that. Preparation varies wildly from tea to tea. We'll go over that in each video that we do for the tea, um, and you can look at all that there. Tea is produced predominantly in China, India, uh, Kenya is number three, Sri Lanka is number four, and number five is Turkey in tea production throughout the world. Uh, tea is known for its antioxidants, polyphenols, uh, flavonoids, and all this sort of stuff, so it's good for you. We hope you've enjoyed this video. There are so many different varieties of tea, so many different flavors to have, and it's just another thing in the world of Tidwell Taste Store that we really hope you enjoy. We hope you stick around to see a lot of it, and uh, keep clicking on the videos. Thank you.